I am in the elephant enclosure of the Honolulu Zoo in Hawaii, but you might recognize it more as the gentle giant petting zoo in Jurassic World. Now behind me we have the present day giant elephants, but in the movie, in order to make it feel lived in like a real petting zoo, filmmakers hired big burly men and put them in motion capture suits, put saddles on them, and put kids on top of them and had them riding around so it would look like this was a real petting zoo. They also had trained chickens running around, which were also converted into dinosaurs. And you know what? It can't be a Jurassic movie without lots of running and screaming people. And yeah, they were here as well. Now from these giants to a giant of genetics, I'm gonna go talk to B.D. Wong who plays Dr. Henry Wu in both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. He's a genius and he might also be a little bit of a mad scientist. My very first question is, Father, why have you done this to me? <laughs> You told me you were gonna wear the claws. You didn't tell me you were gonna do that. <laughs> uh, why have I done this to you? Yes. What have I done to you? I gave you life. You've given you me be life. grateful. Well, I mean, take out the garbage. Jesus. I know it's hard on. to do it with these gloves. You know, Seriously, I would do think your homework. In in Jurassic World, Henry Wu. He, it seems like he has really gotten to the point where. He's ready to make a human uh, dinosaur hybrid. They're just a, there's no stopping this guy at this point, right? He's gonna make a, this is a great idea, Aaron. He's going to make a human dinosaur hybrid with his own DNA. He's gonna make himself into a dinosaur, a visage of himself in dinosaur. That is perfect. I think I, perfect. I like it. This yeah. is a sequel, ready to go. Yeah. Well, I mean, why do you? What happened to Henry uh, in between Jurassic Park to Jurassic World has sort of set him down this path that. It looks like a, a bit of a, a villain's path, quite honestly. Well, I mean, it, it is, he's definitely um, an antagonist to the action of the movie, right? He's, he's the one who makes this bad thing happen that makes the bad things happen. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's, there, there's definitely a, a villain label that can be put on him. I think he has been on a track where he's so single-mindedly um, into what he's doing that he, he can't, they see anything else like I think he's really into the fact that what he's doing is m blowing people's minds and changing the world that he's willing to pay the price that oh yeah this is this minor inconvenience of this uh, club club park going crazy and and all these people dying is is a minor part of it for him I really believe that and I think that he's not a bad person I think he's just completely obsessed with the technology that he's uh, um, Push forward, right. and I think he rightfully so owns it as if some as as a, as a guy who wants credit for it, this thing that he's done. I think he he feels ownership over it. Well, since your character does make it out alive, he's out there in the world. Do you think there is going to be some level of uh, culpability, responsibility, or would you like to see Doctor Wu have to answer to other forces, uh, justice, anything like that? Yeah. I would. I think that's how, that's how, as an audience member, as an actor, I think that would be the most interesting. He sure has um, an incredible death in the book, the original novel, mm -hmm. a, a death that I felt robbed of in the, in the movie in some ways because that character never really got to that point. And so in some ways I feel like we're kind of picking up in, in, at a certain part, an early part in the book where, where we, we left off and, and, and that this is the, the Jurassic World um, uh, version of Dr. Wu is more like the book and yeah. that so then that does mean that it's le leading towards that would indicate that that's leading towards something like that some yeah. kind of comeuppance or drama or big death he has a crazy great death in the, in yeah. the book with the raptors so, the, the, yeah his, child his own raptor. yeah well we are out of time yes. thank you so much thanks and, uh, thanks for creating me father <laughs> oh god oh you're welcome uh, do the dishes <laughs>